morning dear students today we'll see the next distribution normal distribution in this normal distribution it will come under again continuous probability distribution and it is defined as f of x is equal to 1 upon standard deviation this symbol is standard deviation that is sigma square root of 2 pi into e raised to minus times x minus mu whole square divided by 2 standard deviation square or variance I can say or sigma square. So this is a function for normal distribution. By using this we are going to simplify the problems based on this normal distribution. Here x is lying between minus infinity to plus infinity and mu is lying between minus infinity to plus infinity this mu stand for the mean and the standard deviation that is rho is positive is known as normal distribution and here also the uh, both the conditions will satisfy uh, the function f of x uh, will be greater than or equal to 0 a function or probability and uh, integration of f of x dx from minus infinity to plus infinity will be 1 so if two conditions satisfy the given uh, uh, a function f of x is called what here probability density function so no proof for mean variance and standard deviation but results are mean is given by mu uh, variance is given by uh, standard deviation square or I can say rho square and uh, SD stand for uh, standard deviation which is nothing but square root of variance which is nothing but what here rho or I can sigma whatever symbol you can say or else in a simple way I can say this is symbol for standard deviation so using this we will see a few more basic criteria here now note the graph see the normal distribution is always in the form of bell shape okay always it will be in bell shape and the peak this if you divide exactly so this is the value of x and always this will be zero the graph of the probability function f of x is bell shaped curve symmetric about the line x so here line is x is equal to mu uh, and is called a normal probability curve this curve what we have this is normal probability curve and the shape of this curve is as follows so usually this kind of curves you have seen in your uh, lab uh, see, well, while doing the uh, CRO uh, uh, experiments uh, or whatever analytic functions uh, problems uh, so examples what you have done in the lab and all you have seen or else I can say that uh, best example you have seen the uh, fluctuations of your uh, uh, heartbeat or uh, uh, your uh, BP and all in the uh, screen of the that uh, device what we are going to use in the uh, hospitals and all so this is nothing but uh, a, a bell shape and uh, here the mean the equation of this curve is nothing but x is equal to mu so the line x is equal to mu divides the total area so this is a curve uh, divides the total area in two parts part one and part two okay in uh, equal part and into two equal part and the area so this area is on this complete area what we uh, what i can say this bell shape what area is it complete area will be always what here equal to one so this area will be 0.5 and this area will be 0.5 so left hand side right hand side so if you add you will get completely 1 so the line x is equal to mu divides the total area under the curve which is equal to 1 into two equal parts okay the area to the right as well as left of the line is nothing but how much here 0.5 so using this of the basic uh, uh, I will go for a few illustrative and uh, uh, example which is not there for exam just to understand I want to take that one now a few standard normal distribution is defined here so here the normal z is equal to x minus mu upon standard deviation is called standard normal variate so the given x value uh, to convert in terms of the normal variate we are going to use this formula uh, after replacing the value of x mu and standard deviation we will get the value of z so which is most useful in the examples in the normal distribution and then f of z is equal to 1 upon square root of 2 pi into e raised to minus z square upon 2 is a standard normal probability density function or normal curve so you need to remember this 
and phi of z is equal to 1 upon root pi integration 0 to z e raised to minus z square uh, upon 2 dz is represents the uh, area under the standard normal curve 0 to z so these are the few standard uh, uh, normal distribution uh, results and some one some more results while solving the examples this will be most uh, helpful here so p of z greater than equal to minus infinity less than equal to infinity can be represented as integration of minus infinity to plus infinity function phi of z dz is equal to 1 okay then second result so just see so minus infinity to plus infinity means you can refer this diagram minus infinity to plus infinity means this complete area and the result is 1 what we have taken so here so mathematically it is represented like that so second one p z greater than or equal to minus infinity but less than equal to 0 means this is your state line state line 0 minus infinity plus infinity so here they have given 0 to this side so it is going to consider as what here minus infinity to 0 and the resultant will be what here 0.5 similarly uh, z greater than or equal to 0 but less than or equal to infinity again this is the right hand side again it is 0 0.5 this complete is 1 but uh, 0 to minus infinity is 0 0.5 0 to plus infinity is also 0 0.5 0 0.5 plus 0.5 will get complete area of the given bell shaped normal curve so again these two are very important so p of z strictly less than z1 z1 is nothing but the area what they will say i will take uh, one of the illustrative example based on these two so it will be more clear so it is if it is less than z1 always we have to consider what here 0.5 plus phi of z1 and uh, p of z greater than z2 means what happens here 0.5 minus of uh, phi of z2 these two are most important to simplify the example now we will see one of the illustrative examples so that we can understand this concept now illustration to find the area under the standard normal wave curve z is equal to 0 and 1.55 so this is what here z is equal to 0 so we have two uh, results here z is equal to 0 and z is equal to uh, i will consider as what here it is 1.55 so z is equal to 0 means this is a center curve so i will draw a curve here normal curve which is bell shape okay so z is equal to 0 means exactly center and we know that this is the area 0.5 this is 0.5 but one more value they have given z is equal to 1.55 so i will write somewhere it is here this 1.55 will be here so you draw a vertical line and shade this so this is the area from z is equal to 0 to z is equal to what here 1.55 so this positive side we need to uh, shade like that then this is nothing but area of phi of 1.5 we can see the table or from the calculator we can get the what is the area how much area means but this area we need to apply integration um, theoretically and where this given phi of z will be lying between the integral 0 to 1.55 so but here we will not go uh, uh, theoretically so we will go by the standard norm by using the standard normal variate and with the help of the table value we have the normal distribution table or else we can use the calculator to get the area and we can get the answer of this similarly area of the standard normal curve between z is equal to 0 0.86 and z is equal to 0 i'll draw a curve first so a normal uh, distribution curve fine so once we draw so z is equal to 0 it will come exactly here so z is equal to this is a point z is equal to 0 and next point minus miss is left side so somewhere i can uh, put here that uh, this is uh, minus 0 0.86 just uh, we have we need to imagine draw a perpendicular uh, that is uh, vertical line and shade it so this is the area from 0 to minus 0 0.86 okay so similarly area of the standard normal curve between z is equal to minus 0 0.44 and z is equal to so first draw the uh, curve curve is like that so z is equal to so minus 0 0.44 means uh, i will write here 
this is minus 0 0.44 and uh, z is equal to 1 point so I will draw somewhere here it is uh, 1.76 so 2 so this complete area we need to calculate so this is a shaded part so the function phi of z is lying between minus 0 0.44 to uh, 1.76 Similarly, area of the standard normal curve between z is equal to 0 0.57 to z is equal to 2.49. So, the curve is like that. Again, draw it. So, point. So here, both are positive. So, I will take here uh, 0 0.57 somewhere here and uh, 2 point I will take here. This is the what here? 2.49. Uh, draw the lines. So, shade this area. So this area is nothing but from 0 0.57 to 2.49 so like that uh, this is just a illustration so how to get the area so here what I want to conclude here so this is nothing but so while writing so with this with this example I want to say here area so to find the complete area so here for from, for this curve I want to just show how to find the area so required area is equal to area between z is equal to 0 to z so this is completely right hand side so how to get this area so we need to calculate so which is nothing but so to get the this unshaded part what we have this area we need to uh, find to find this we need to subtract what here phi of 2.49 minus phi of 0.57 so we need to find so how to uh, find this area so use uh, take the calculator here as so shift make stat mode 3 okay and put AC button it will vanish so you can see that it is in stat option so once we get it, this stat mode then shift use what here shift and above one we have stat you press one so you will find this type data sum e, variance and so distribution we are working distribution press phi so here so instead of q for q you consider as phi so here uh, this is nothing but the value of finding the normal value so option two you will find here it is written as uh, look like q so q you consider as a, a normal distribution table q of any value so option 2 so you will find q of 2.49 you press 2.49 equal to so what we getting here 0 0.49361 that is 0 0.49361 minus then again you go back deleted phi of 0 0.57 equal to sign so we will get the answer as uh, 0 0.21566 you subtract it uh, both so we will get the answer as on equivalent it is 0 0.2779 so therefore it is the answer of p of x z greater than equal to 0 0.5 7 and less than or equal to 2.49 is nothing but 0 0.2779 so area of this greater than or equal to uh, 0 0.57 and less than or equal to what here 2.49 so this area is nothing but 0 0.2779 so in this way we need to calculate so like that we will see the actual problems how to solve